welcome back to my channel. It's Pretty with Brit's Tips. Today we are doing a crystal series. This is fluorite we are doing. So this is rainbow fluorite. It's a mix of purple and green. It has, this one's really pretty. It has some really pretty rainbows up at the top. And then um, you'll see swoops of white going through the pieces. Super, super pretty. So I'm going to try and emulate um, fluorite for my nails and let's talk about fluorite just for a second here. So fluorite's an interesting stone. Um, it can be found in the United States, Britain, Germany, Australia, China, Peru, Brazil, everywhere. It's all over the world. Um, but this stone cleanses and stabilizes the aura which is super interesting. Um, and it's extremely effective against computer and electromagnetic stress. So it's good to have in your office if you're working on a computer. Fluorite draws off negative energies and stress of all kinds. It cleanses, purifies, dispels, and reorganizes anything within the body that is in, not in perfect order. It's the best crystal to use to overcome any form of disorganization. Perfect to have in an office setting, I think. Fluorite brings structure and focus to incoherent or incohesive energies. It helps one attune to higher guidance during meditation. It'll remedy confusion, instability, dishonesty, assist with balancing brain chemistry, enhancing learning and memorization, stimulating the brain. An affirmation for fluorite is my mind and heart are awake, alert, clear, and active working in unison to make the optimal choices for my life purpose. I love that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So for today's um, mini, we are actually using Madame Glam products. I'm so excited. So they went and sent me a whole bunch of stuff. I am so excited. I got this little um, UV lamp here, Madame Glam lamp they have. They sent me their white ink, which I am going to be buying stock of this stuff. I cannot wait to get more in. Um, I got their gel base and gel top coat, and they sent me a purple and a green gel polish. So, in addition to all of those, I'm going to use a couple other colors um, just to try to get my colors to match the stone as close as possible. Um, I'm using these little gels that I got off of Amazon, um, two purples, two, um, two purples, two greens is what I'm using. I'm using a matte gel top coat. I have a white gel, um, that I'm using and then blooming gel. And I think that's it. <laughs> that's all the things we're using. So the first thing that we're going to do is take our white gel polish and mix it with our base coat. So anytime I mix my colors, I'm going to be using base and not top. If I'm using the clear, I'm gonna use base. This way, when I cure, it leaves the top sticky and you'll see um, I'm using some foils to get this um, rainbow shimmer part up at the top and you need a sticky layer for that to happen. Look how pretty that is. Okay, anyways. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of make like a milky white. And I'm gonna do one layer. I actually want it lighter than that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. While that's curing, I'm going to go ahead and pour some alcohol and some acetone in my little containers here. So alcohol in one, acetone in the other, <clears throat> and then I'm going to just use the um, acetone to clean off my brush. All right, so next we're going to mix our colors. So I'm going to take my purple. This color from Madame Glam, it's a purple jelly. It's called Viva Las Vegas. It's a 
perfect purple color. It's really pretty. So I'm going to use that color. I'm going to use this lighter lavender color. And then this darker color. All right. And then for the greens, I have from Madame Glam. This is Lost in the Woods. It's not a jelly. It's just a solid green. So we're going to use that. Then there's this pretty jelly green color. And then a mint green. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my swatch and I'm going to apply some purple and some green in some swooping motions. So you can see the bottom half of this is green and then in the middle there's some purple and then the top half is green also. So the ones that I have are more on the green side. So the swatches that I have done previously are more on the purple side. So let's try and do more on the green side. So we're gonna go ahead and mix my greens. Oh, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some base coat also. So I have the three different colors of green plus a base coat just to kind of thin it out a little bit, lighten it up. I'm gonna do two little dots there. All right, so we'll do green at the bottom. And green at the top. And then we'll mix our purples together. And put purple in the middle here. And then I'm just going to take a dry brush that I have and blend these two colors together. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cure that for a minute. All right, I'm going to go ahead in with a second layer. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cure. and mixed a couple more um, drops of my green together with a base coat. I'm going to do a thin layer over top of the entire nail. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a full layer of this purple jelly, Viva Las Vegas. While that's curing, I'm going to go ahead and take my white gel polish and some base. And then I'm just going to use my cuticle precision tool. Okay, this is what we have so far. So I'm going to go ahead in with the Blooming Gel. So Blooming Gel um, puts a layer on top of your nail. You do not cure it. And then you apply gel polish over top of it. And the gel polish like floats and um, swirls, which is really cool. So you'll see exactly what I mean. Okay, so I'm just going to take this flat brush and I'm going to pick up. I'm just dragging and picking up some of the polish not too much okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of drop the polish and you can see it starts to like give that smoky look 
I like to blow on it too, so it kind of like helps it separate. All right, once you get it where you want it, go ahead and cure um, because it'll continue to move. And I want to keep this purple a little bit more defined, this green part. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cure. Okay, that's where we're at now. I'm going to add more, um, a little bit more purple and a little bit more green in those spots. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cure that. All right, there we go. I'm going to go ahead in with another thin layer of the purple jelly, the Viva Las Vegas from Madame Glam. Then I'm going to go ahead and take foil. So I got this kit of iridescent silver foil from Amazon. I'll link it. And you can see they're like different shapes. This one's stars, circles, swirls, lines. There's um, one that this one is just like dots, like pixelated. It really doesn't matter which one you use. Um, I don't even know which one I cut out. I cut out this swirl one. Um, I'm going to show you why. Because I'm not using it as this pattern, right? I'm just using it for the shimmery iridescent effect of it. Okay, so our nail is tacky because we're using gels. So I'm just going to kind of put this and drag it across. Okay, so you see I'm not getting that swirl pattern, I'm just kind of getting the iridescent part that I want. Now we're going to throw a layer of matte over top of it and we're going to use our white alcohol ink. So this mat needs cured, I cure it for a minute, and then it allows us to apply our alcohol ink and then manipulate it how we want. Okay, so you can see it like took that shiny layer away. We're going to take our alcohol ink and just lightly swoop. in the areas where there is white already. Put the lid on. <laughs> and then I'm gonna just take a, another brush that I have with some alcohol. So I'm gonna dab my container in the alcohol and then just lightly um, remove like the excess from the side. We're gonna go ahead I'm going to start at this line here and in a swoop swirling motion to start to dilute and manipulate that white ink. So I want to get kind of like that cloudy look. All right, after that dries, I'm going to do a really thin layer one more time of the Viva Las Vegas. Okay, and then one more time, I'm going to take this iridescent foil and just kind of drag it across. I'm going to go ahead in with a layer of Madame Glam gel top coat. Cleanup is super easy, so I'm just going to take my leftover alcohol and just wipe my palette. While we're waiting for that to cure, here's our baby. He's sleeping. 
We had a whole bunch of people over yesterday, so he's all tired. All right, we are all done. So here is our purple fluorite. We got the white, the purple, the green, and the iridescent rainbows in there. What do you think? The hardest part of doing this is trying to get the colors to match, like getting the purple just right, getting the green just right, you know, um, white's white, but that's the hardest part. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you learned a little bit about fluorite and using alcohol ink and blooming gel. Totally different. I love this white alcohol ink. I don't know if you have used alcohol ink ever. It's hard to find a very concentrated white and this is that. <laughs> so if you are looking for a white alcohol ink, go to Madam Glam. I have a 30% off code. It's B-R-I-T-T-S-3-0 underscore one. I'll link it. Um, Madam Glam is great though. So they are, all of their products are vegan. They don't use any animal derived in ingredients. Um, they're 21 free. That's no toxic chemicals. Um, they don't test on animals. And they, their products that they use are environmentally friendly. So I'm a big supporter of them. I love their products. Um, their gel base and gel top coat is like gold over here to me. I'm like, I just save it to do the video and for like my actual manis, I would never use this to swatch. It's, it's wonderful. And I have their purple jelly now. Love that. I, I'm going to use this so many, so many different ways. And then this lost in the woods lime green color. They have a couple other different jelly colors, um, different collections, really, really nice. As far as their inks, I think they have a black ink, a lime green, and maybe a blue. Um, I don't think they have a whole wide selection. If they did, I would buy every single ink that they have. Um, I have multiple different sets of alcohol inks. This by far is the best that I have ever used. So I'm gonna go on it online and buy a couple of these and stock up. All right. Well, until next time, see you later.